I've had uh, several people ask me how to um, how to process uh, sort of raw audio files and get them ready for publication online. Whether you're sending it, you know, to iTunes through a podcast or just um, providing it for download on your uh, website, there's a couple steps that really uh, make it a lot better. Uh, first thing I'd like to show you is. Um, this tool called Levelator, and it's it's available. Just go to Google and search for Levelator uh, or Conversations Network. It's a free tool. It's fantastic. Um, I've got a, a file here that it, and basically what Levelator does is it it makes all of the sound levels throughout the uh, recording. It takes them to this to the same level, so that uh, you don't get up all these you know various um, levels of volume, and it also normalizes to the to a level where it's you know kind of normal for people to listen to at a normal listening volume so that is something that your listeners will really appreciate so all you have to do is grab the file drag it into the levelator and it will um, do its work you can see it's updating here um, doesn't take very long we're at um, about twenty percent complete right now now you can only use this tool with a WAV file so you have to do it first I mean it's definitely take your raw file which is always best to record in wave because you get the highest um, excuse me the highest resolution that way um, and and it's simple you know simple drag and drop there are some settings you can change I think I can probably pop them up here um, you know the instructions are very simple it just says drag and drop your wave or I guess you can use it with AIFF files as well um, and it automatically does the uh, the quick uh, leveling and uh, drops it into uh, the same file name with output.wave at the end. Um, so then you can open it in your editor. So we are um, at 42%. I'm going to pause it. Okay, that's been uh, converted uh, completely. Now I'm going to uh, switch to Audacity. Audacity is a tool that you can uh, download for free. It's an audio editing tool. Um, does quite a bit. It's very effective. I mostly just use it for trimming things, especially in this context. I mean, you can do multi-tracking. You can do a lot with it. But what I'm trying to do right now is just select the space. I had that pre-marked. That's all intro stuff that I want to take out of this call that we recorded. So I'm going to delete that. And yeah, it starts at the right place. And then I'm going to pause it and delete the end. Okay, so now I want to edit out the end, and what I'm looking for is where the main presenter stops uh, presenting. So I'm, I'm really, I've really found it, but I'll show you how I do it. I, I use my arrow keys on my keyboard, so I click on the cursor, and I use my arrow keys, and I use the space key to play. Okay, uh, so that's someone, that's the main presenter, and he's... Uh, He's almost done, so I'm going to advance it a little bit. I hit the right arrow twice. Okay, right there, he's wrapping up. He's saying it was, it's been great, and I'm just wrapping up. So I'm two more times on the right arrow. Okay, new 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 speaker comes on. Okay, so what I want to do now is simply back it up. Right there, when I push play, there's a little bit of silence before the second speaker comes in. So now I'm going to hold down shift, hold my right arrow key until I select the rest that's remaining, and I'm going to delete. So that's editing. And now I just simply uh, save my file the way I want it. Or rather, first I save, you know, save the original because I like to keep my wave, uh, go ahead and keep my edited wave. So um, you, you can save it as a project. So I'm going to save it as a uh, Audacity project and I'm gonna call this call that training one and I've saved it as an audacity project now I'm gonna save it as an mp3 so file save uh, export as mp3 and I'm just gonna do it right there in the default uh, folder so training one mp3 save um, and I have to install the lame encoder so I'm not gonna be able to show you that but I installed this uh, version of Audacity just for the demo but uh, once you have the lame encoder installed Audacity walks you through that process uh, you can follow this process to uh, edit and save good audio files